You've read our story of the new Nissan X-Trail. Now we're going to do a tow test and check it out off-road. The X-Trail pulls this 800 kilo Cub camper without any effort at all. And our fuel consumption has gone up only about 12%, which is pretty good. We're now showing 9.5 litres per 100 k. The manual mode on the CVT works very well to give engine braking on some steep downhill sections with the trailer behind. We didn't have to use the wheel brakes at all. Now we'll check it out on some fire trails and for that we'll engage four wheel drive lock. handled our fire trail easily enough. We'll see how it goes on the test slope. The X-Trail off-road mapping is excellent. We're on a fire trail and it's clearly marked. Too much difficulty. Quite a nimble little beast. Uh, the hill descent control works very well, much better than most soft rotor systems. It's holding us running down this slope without any brake intervention at all. The reversing camera makes backing up to a trailer very easy. The ball is in the camera foreground, perfect. Nissan's been quite clever with the back end of the X-Trail. There's a perfect place to put a jockey wheel. And this one can slot up here. There are 17 different possibilities for these cargo shelves, so quite a good idea. The X-Trail comes standard with a stupid little temporary spare, but fortunately there's plenty of room for a real spare. It's just that this cargo floor will then sit up here. No big loss. We like the X-Trail. The two and a half litre engine pulls well. It's reasonably economical, but we're really hanging for the diesel. I think that'll be the ideal towing engine and bush engine but it's a good package.